practice. It's an all-time thing. Do you define something for you personally that you did that you wouldn't do before? Uh, personally, I just try to do more of you know what I did last year, more of what I've been doing before. You know, more film work, more more just learning the game all around, more being a better leader for my teammates, more, you know, extra workouts here and there, more treatment, just everything around the game of football. Try to do more of it. You guys are coming up two really, really good seasons, but going into this year, I'm sure now a lot of people are gonna still judge you championship, not championship. It almost seems like kind of that's what you're saying because you guys have come so close. Is it, to some degree, is it unfair to only be judged by that bar? Or is it, or is that, are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. The game is um, based off championships. Like we said, like I said last year, you know, the Warriors were, they set that record, they were the 72 and nine or 70, whatever, how many games they won and they won the championship, so who cares, you know? You can have a great season like that and not win the championship, and it's just it's all a wash. So we want to win the national championship, and that's most definitely one of our top goals. So you may have already talked about this, but how much of that do-more theme is specifically related to the disappointment of having lost Alabama and maybe even some of the Sugar Bowl stuff, too? It's not really that. It's just all about outworking your opponent and all about becoming better. You know, what you did last year is not enough, so let's do more. You know, it has nothing to do with Alabama. It just has something to do with yourself and looking at the man in the mirror and figuring out where you can work at and where you can get better. Because DeAndre Baker's not here anymore, do you feel as a secondary guy that puts a little bit more pressure on you, not to just do more yourself, but to, I guess, help other guys in that secondary group kind of get to that same spot? Uh, no, I, I never put on added pressure on me. There's unnecessary, I never put unnecessary pressure on me. You know, it's all about just helping those guys that are younger than me groom and get better. And I think we have a lot of guys that are stepping up to the plate, and I think they'll be fine. Eric Stokes seemed to prove himself last year as a cornerback. What would you say about the competition on the other side of him at cornerback right now? Uh, you know, those guys, we're deep, we're deep all around the ball, so competition brings the best out of everybody, and I think we'll have uh, some pretty good corners this year and, and pretty locked down guys. One of the things that Kirby talked about during the spring was secondary kind of a unique position group in that everyone that will play this fall went through spring practice. How much did that help you guys develop chemistry with each other and just, I guess, develop some practice experience with the new guys? It definitely helps the young guys get a step ahead, especially in the playbook. That's one of the biggest things, the learning curve. It's not the ability or the want to. It's a playbook, so by having those guys come in early and work, work hard and work through spring with us, they get a step ahead and learn the playbook. You know, the Havoc conversation was a big part of the spring, and a lot of people think about that as tackles for loss and sacks, but there's also pass broken up and interceptions a part of that as well. What does the secondary do to impact that that area of the game more? Well, one thing we gotta do, we gotta cover, we gotta break up passes, we gotta be good tacklers. When we blitz, we gotta we gotta hit home, and we gotta get interceptions. When you came yeah. to Georgia and, and had those conversations with Coach Smart about what you wanted to accomplish at Georgia and, and what you thought learning from him might entail, did you see the success that y'all have already had, and, and and what do you still have left? to accomplish uh, in your career at Georgia playing for Coach Smart? Most definitely. One of the things, you know, that got me to come to Georgia was definitely Coach Smart and him and Mel Tucker. But, you know, Coach Smart was just so confident in what he believed in and what he preached, and he has a great track record. So I believe that, you know, Georgia can be a great team even before, you know, we had before his second year we went to the Natty. And as far as going this year, we, we want to win the Natty. You know, that's most definitely a goal of ours. And defense as, as a unit. I mean, it seems like this year's team has depth in a lot of positions it might not have had in years past. What have you seen, even before you've gotten going with fall camp and fall practice, about what this unit can do? It's just a lot of competition, and that's one of the best things you can have about depth is competition. And competition brings the best out of players, and I think it'll make everybody around the board better. We're talking to Jake about you running the 